I see this doesn't make a noise if I can walk and talk. Uh, well, I'd just like to welcome everyone and to, uh, to say I'm here really under completely false pretenses because I'm in no sense the chief guest here. Um, in fact, really, I felt a little nervous when Joseph asked me to the first would you come in. Well, I didn't think nervous about coming, that was easy enough, you know, an evening of music, food, what could go wrong. And he said, would you give a little speech? And then, oh, mm -hmm. because you think I lecture for a living, but why would I be nervous? But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how often you do this, no matter how much practice you get, you almost feel a little apprehensive. And I felt doubly apprehensive, of course, when Joseph introduced me, because he told you that I lecture on pharmaceutical chemistry, drug stability, drug design, and thought, when he asks you to speak, they'll be making a beeline for the door. You go, oh, no. Well, I can tell you, I'm not going to tell you anything about farm chem or anything like that. I really just want to begin by saying, nervous as I am to talk to you, I feel so much so impressed at the young people who have given their time and effort. And it's not easy, let me tell you, if you've never performed in public. It's one thing to perform in your bedroom or for your mum and dad, but it's completely different to stand up on that stage and do it for people who you don't know. So I'd just like to give them a big round of applause for some just And while we're on the subject of congratulations, I would like to thank the, the people who guide them and encourage them, obviously their parents and their families, but particularly to Joseph and all of their teachers who put together this group and to give us this opportunity. <laughs> now, I have to a little confession to make here. I am a real softy for Christmas. I just love it. I like everything about it. Um, I know it's a little unfashionable, um, but really, I just think it is a fantastic time of year. And sometimes we feel, particularly as Christians, that the secular world loses sight of what Christmas is really about. Um, the, it's all commercialism, nobody's really interested in what the real meaning of Christmas is. But actually, I don't think that's really true. Yes, it's obviously a very commercial time, but really, if you look around you, you see that there are so many examples of goodwill um, and people putting themselves second for other people in need. I, I was touched um, recently by a story of the BBC News following the disaster in the Philippines, and it was pointing out that um, the crew of HMS Illustrious were not coming home for Christmas. They were actually, the aircraft carrier was being diverted to bring much needed supplies to the Philippines. And they interviewed the people, the crew, and the, the captain on, the, on that boat. And they were well, yes, we miss our families at Christmas, but really, these people need us. And that spirit, that giving, is partly what Christmas is about. So even people who perhaps don't share our Christian fear, so people who don't believe as we do in the real meaning of Christmas. The, the joy and the goodwill to all men permeates throughout our society, I believe. So that message is getting across there. Perhaps not the source of the message, but the message is getting out there. And if you ask people in the street, I believe that people do love Christmas and they love everything it represents. And I certainly am on the shield in that. I, I just think it's fantastic. Of course, it was even better when my children were younger and watching the young people performing. But in my life, um, at the front here, we say, oh, this takes us back to my daughter's guitar and violin and piano lessons. And in fact, actually, one part of the whole thing took me back, and that was uh, my wife and I, oh, I'm not even going to say how long ago, visited India for six months. and. Um, we, we fell in love with the place, everything about it. Um, but what particularly reminded me was the, the traditional Indian dance reminded me so much. And it was really joy to us when I'd really like to congratulate the two girls, particularly 
just from a personal level, because I just thought they were great and made me think about, oh, I remember we were there watching it actually in India itself. So thank you very much for that. So all I can really say, just to close really, is to say that I've enjoyed so much of what I've seen. Um, it's just wonderful. And that message of Christmas, if we, one of the best ways of getting that out in the world is to go out with it and live it in our hearts. And that's what these young people are doing. They're not afraid, they're, they're up there performing and they're doing it really in the name of, of Jesus. And they're going out there and performing and using their talent which, in fact, is quite a formidable, I must say. Um, they're using their talent to, to spread that word, and I think that is really a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I, you should be very proud of them if you're their parents. Thank you very much. Um, you know, because Joseph told you that I, um, I lecture in pharmacy, and when you're in meetings like this, there are some things you think, and you think, do you know, I know of lots of jokes, I know how they all work, but I know nothing, and there is nothing that surpasses or even comes close to the, the joy which we can have in a community coming together. And I look around and I see people from all walks of life and from all parts of the world, and that's partly what Christmas is about. We're all meeting here, we're all celebrating the same thing, uh, and we're doing it through music, which is a wonderful a wonderful meeting, and I'd just like to hope that you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank Joseph for asking me to do this, and um, I'll hand over to, I don't know who's next, but whoever it is, the microphone is yours. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.